What's going on YouTube? Dr. Ironbat Prime 2.0 back again with this new video. And as you hit this new video, this is my top 10 alternate versions of Wolverine throughout all of Marvel Comics. Now, with the Wolverine possibly making his way to the, to the MCU, a lot of Marvel things have been going through my mind recently. And also, he, Wolverine's been having a couple things happen here and there in the world of comic books. I thought it'd be fun and cool to do my top 10 alternate versions of Wolverine. But for this list, and like I say with all my top 10s, these are basically alternate universe, different timelines, and uh, basically different mantles, and well, just my top 10 in my opinion. So everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Now, these are basically just different worlds, different universes, different mantles, and let's kick this list off. At number 10, we have Weapon X of Earth 295. So this is basically Wolverine from the Age of Apocalypse story, but didn't really go by the name Wolverine. This is basically an alternate universe where he got his arm cut off by Cyclops, but would also be a member of the This World's X-Men and would live in the Age of Apocalypse story. Plus, uh, he would end up just, well, just serving up, well, all the bad mutants here and there, and there's just a whole lot of crazy stuff to happen here and there with the, every other mutants and just every other character in this story. Now at number 9 is Jimmy Logan of Earth uh, 90214. Now this is basically the Wolverine from the Noir universe uh, of, well, uh, of all of our Marvel heroes and characters being, well, living in the, well, in 1940s and, well, 1930s and 40s and... Now this is basically a drunk version of Wolverine, but also still had the claws and was still a mutant, but was living in a Noir universe. Sure, this is just a normal standard Wolverine, but would have a relationship with uh, Jean Grey and killed Cyclops. Well, in a way, kind of, sort of. But let's just say a whole lot of crazy stuff happens with this Wolverine because, well, he's a bit depressed and, well, like I said in the beginning, he's a drunk version of Wolverine. Number eight is Dakin, aka Dark Wolverine. Of course, the son of Logan just had to make this list for several reasons. He had the same powers, but uh, small changes, but also really hated Wolverine for, well, X, Y, and Z reasons. Plus, I mean, I like how he has, like, one claw that goes, like, in his wrist instead of, well, three coming out of, uh, well, the fist. But I, that's another cool concept that I like about this version of Wolverine. But later, he would become a member of the Dark Avengers and Dark X-Men. Yeah, he has a thing for enjoying, well, just dark superhero teams, so kind of another reason why I want to add him on the list. Now at number seven is Wolverine of Earth 811. Now this might be, well, just a normal standard version of Wolverine, but this is basically the one from the, well, Days of Future Past storyline for Wolverine. Sure, this is basically just normal standard Wolverine, but he would in a way stop uh, the Sentinels from destroying countless mutants here and there, but would also go through some time traveling here and there. So if you've seen or read the Days of Future Past X-Men comics or seen the movie, you probably get the picture, but I just like time travel stuff and sure, like I said, another standard Wolverine, but I want to throw this one on the list because I'm a fan of the Days of Future Past comics, so yeah, that's why he's on the list. Number six is Zombie Wolverine of Earth 2149. If you're an anyway but fan of the Marvel Zombies comics, I'm pretty sure you get it on why he made the list. Of course, uh, he would be one of the characters that would be turned into a zombie, but because of his healing factor, his skin was the only thing that was kind of sort of messing up, but he still had a straight mind. That's why his healing factor kind of sort of, well, kept him on a straight mind, but also he would be, he would also be one of the characters to gain the power of cosmic eating Silver Surfer, but hey, zombie apocalypse. Halfway at number five is Ultimate Wolverine of Earth 1610. Now sure this is just another normal Wolverine, but this is basically the Marvel Ultimate Universe for like the Ultimates, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and just several other heroes uh, just having, well, small changes in, um, well, their story, well, just changed up, but there's a really good reason why I want to throw this one on the list. This would basically be a version of Wolverine that would be evil at first and working side by side with Magneto, but would uh, later serve, uh, well, left the X-Men, Charles Xavier. But, but there's a lot more to this version, like he dies in the hands of Magneto and, well, 
he didn't really save Scott Summers, and also he has a relationship with uh, Jean Grey, but yeah, there's a lot more to this version of Wolverine. Also, not to mention, he does have a son later on. But uh, that's a bit of a story and different version for another time. Now at number four is Weapon H. Now this is basically an alternate version of Hulk and Wolverine. Plus this is also one of my top 10 favorite alternate versions of the Hulk. So yeah, I want to throw this one on the list for a couple reasons. This is what happens when you have the government uh, create like Wolverine and a Hulk hybrid. And this is just the perfect combination of just uh, having them both as one. I mean, this is basically what happens when you combine the Hulk and Wolverine as a one character thing. And I love the concept and it's a good one. I mean, if you're a fan of both the Hulk and Wolverine, this is the best combination. Taking the top three is Miles Morales. So sure, this is basically just a, another what if story for Marvel comics, but I really love the concept of, well, Miles Morales having, well, different mantles and different takes on superheroes and other characters, and this is just one of my favorites. Now, I like how this is basically an ultra inversion where he, ha where Miles has an origin similar to Wolverine. Plus, I just overall love the costume, I like the design, and he has four claws instead of three, but, and, again, like, sure this is just a Marvel What If story, but I just love the concept, I love the story, and... I just want to see more of this later in the future, so, and again, he's, uh, and he's very new in the world of comics, but I just, I'm just a fan. I just love it a lot. Taking the top two is Old Man Logan of Earth uh, 90210. If you're an able way of a fan of the, well, what, the Old Man Logan comic, I'm pretty sure you get the picture on why mm, this one made the list. Now this is basically a version of Wolverine from the Old Man Logan storyline where he barely had his claws out, he was a farmer, and let's just say he had a thing for teaming up with the blind Hawkeye. But if you haven't read the Old Man Logan comic, I would highly recommend checking it out if you're in any way of a Wolverine fan because, well, I mean, it's an apocalyptic future, most of the villains win, May heroes are just, well, get, are just dead, but... Hey, that's what this version is all about. Plus, in a way, you could say that this is what Logan was loosely based off of. Sure, they might have changed some things here and there. Well, a lot. Of, they changed a lot of things here and there. But that's what it was loosely based off of. And taking number one is X-23, a.k.a. Laura. Of course, Wolverine's daughter just had to make the list. Uh, Laura just had to hit the top of the list. This is basically, well, the daughter of Wolverine that was a clone, but also she had a similar, well, somewhat similar mutant uh, kind of factor that allowed her to be in the definition of Wolverine. Sure, she's just a clone, but hey, she's an enjoyable character. I really like her story arc, and well, I love how she would become the next Wolverine in the world of comic books. And let's not forget, she had a fun part to play in, well, in the movie Logan. I mean, she was the second main character in the movie, but before I end this list, here are some honorable mentions that I love to throw in. As for honorable mentions, those go to Wolverine of Earth 2107, Dark Claw, House of M, Earth 12025, and Jimmy Hudson of Earth 1610. So that about wraps up my list. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys liked this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all learned a thing or two. Let me know what your top five or top ten alternate versions of Wolverine are in the comments down below. But hey, I, like I said, this was my top ten and everyone's entitled to their own opinion. So have your list down below in the comments if you want. But also, just to wrap it up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already by hitting the subscribe right down there along with hitting the bell down there so that way you guys are notified whenever my next video is uploaded. But also, well, don't forget to, well, hit the thumbs up and hit the comments. I'm always reading comments. And also don't forget to, well, follow me on social media like it is all right here. Make sure to follow me and I just might follow you guys back. But until my next video, this is... Uh, well, Dr. Iron Bat Prime 2.0, aka Noah, signing out, and uh, catch you guys on next video, bub. <laughs> Had to and wanted to.